All right, guys, Cowboy 32 here, check it out. What you were looking at is the Elite build, and this by far is probably one of the best firearms that I have ever put together. Uh, Proof Research Barrel, Ultra Dyne, JP, uh, Trigger Tech Diamond, uh, running the uh, primary arms. This is their GLX with the uh, zero stops on it. Uh, Sonic Capture Spring, the IWI vertical grip on this thing. It is, in my mind, probably one of the best rifles. It is one of the most accurate rifles that I have ever put together. And we're going to find out exactly how <laughs> accurate this thing is by testing it with about 30 different varieties of ammunition. But what's more fun is taking, uh, I don't know, another rifle using not such an expensive part. This is the challenge. This guy right here, this was the budget build. And unfortunately, the budget build uh, with the Bear Creek Arsenal barrel, this is their 20 inch, uh, one and eight twist, two, two, three wild. I, it really, did, it wasn't accurate at all. <laughs> I was getting three to four inches with this thing, even with 77 grain. So I'm not giving up on it because I think that if we change out this muzzle brake, something else will happen. But in the effort to find another 20 inch upper or another rifle that worked with it, we put together another 20 inch upper. And this guy, this is the reason we're having this video right now. This is the Ballistic Advantage. This is their 223 Wild 1 and 8 twist, 416R stainless steel, high pressure tested, magnetically particle inspected, fluted barrel. And uh, we're going to take this thing out and see how accurate it is. But before we do that, uh, let's take a look at the interior of it. And then we're gonna take it out to the range. We're gonna run this guy right here, uh, this precision armament muzzle brake on it. And let's see how accurate we can make this guy. Maybe it could be as accurate as this thing. Does this mean this is a better rifle if this is just as accurate? I don't know. At that point, it's all about your Mustang GT versus uh, Mercedes AMG. I don't know. Let's take a look at the inside of this barrel, and then we're going to take it out to the range and have some fun with it. Here we go. Stand by. All right, so the first thing we're going to do in this video series, because this is a lot of fun, and I want to have fun with this guy, is we are going to replace this muzzle brake with this guy right here. This is a 5.56 Tactical. Uh, this is a lot like the uh, Lantac. But a lot of people don't take into consideration that you get a muzzle brake that weighs about five or six ounces. And how much does this thing weigh? Hold on. Because what it does, or it has the potential to do, is it has the potential to mess up the harmonics of the barrel. That which is a 5.6 ounces. Unreal. So we're going to retest the Bear Creek Arsenal with the same ammunition, 77 grain MagTech, and then we're gonna take it out. We're gonna run a comparison with this guy right here. This is the Ballistic Advantage. So what I wanna do while we have this out, uh, I wanna tell you something. This is probably one of the lightest uppers that uh, I, I can actually see. Now, I wanted to show you the details of this barrel. Look at that thing. It is absolutely beautiful, bead blasted. There you go, you can see the writing on the barrel itself. Uh, the crown on it is absolutely beautiful, and I don't have any complaints about the barrel itself. Now, I did run into Mr. Clint Hansen out at SHOT Show, and he confirmed to me that they do indeed test fire every one of their barrels. Now, that's going to be the reason why you're going to see some scarring on the inside of the barrel. But really and truly, you should run about 200 rounds through your barrel. This is my opinion. If you think differently, that's cool too. But you got to build up that copper equilibrium to fill in the unevenness, the, the gouges in the barrel. Now, I've taken the liberty of cleaning this interior of this barrel extremely well, decoppering, defouling it the way I see fit. And at least to the point where I, what I want to do is I want to take it out and I want to start putting rounds through it just to make sure that we've got that build up. So let me get my camera and let's take a look at the inside of this guy. Okay, let's go ahead with the test long uh, bore scope with a 90 degree mirror on it. We're going to take a look at this thing. Oh, look at that. You can see the inside of the Strike Industries um, dust cover. So here we go. Here's the interior of it. We're going to go into the chamber. Let's take a look around. It's pretty dirty 
uh, even after I cleaned it out, but it's been sitting around for a while. Let's go ahead and bring it on into the breach. Okay, so here's the beginning of the landings right there, as you can see. And one of the cool things about having a 90 degree mirror is you can really see what this barrel looks like. Now, again, one of the things is they do test fire these guys right before they send them out. And uh, I'm pretty sure they did this one as well, as you can see right there. But all in all, not in bad a shape. 416 steel, uh, we've got some brown stuff. Not sure what that is, but if somebody wants to comment, they sure can. I'm not too concerned about anything, but let's get on up here and take a look at some more areas. Look at that. Let's go ahead and follow this land all the way down. And that's the cool part about these 90 degree mirrors. You really can get uh, in deep with these things and see what's going on. Let's go ahead and give her a twist all the way around. Nice and shiny. Moving forward, let's go ahead and bring it on out. Now we're going to run some rounds to this thing to fill in all those little crevices. I'm not too worried about the grooves, but the lands is where the bullet contacts. We want to smooth that out. Look at that. I'm not sure. You know what's... Um, look at this. That's crazy. There is the gas port, you can see. We'll go ahead and bring it all the way out. 416 stainless steel. Pretty interesting. Now they did send this barrel out for me to use in this test. So what we'll do is after we run, and that'll be a telltale sign. Why don't we do this? Let's put about 200 rounds to this guy, and then we'll go ahead and bring the scope back through and look at it. As you can tell, look at that crown all the way around. Hey, there's the interior of the precision, it, what do you call that thing? I'm not sure what you call this uh, muzzle brake. All right, bring that down. Look at that. All right, so the telltale sign, though, guys, is how it impacts a target down range. All right, let's get her on out there and shoot it and see how well it performs. Now, here's another thing, is I'm running the uh, superlative gas block on there, and I've uh, made a couple more modifications to my handguard. This is gonna be kind of cool looking. I gotta paint that up, but I wanted to round that off so that it would look like that out on the range. That's a good looking rifle, I don't care what you say. That barrel is very, very light as well. And I, I weighed it out in comparison with the Proof Research carbon fiber barrel. And believe it or not, it's only a couple ounces off. So anyway, let's get out on the range and see how it runs. Stand by. All right, guys, we're sitting out here at the range and uh, this is an undisclosed location, private range that a, a good friend was uh, nice enough to let me shoot. Now we're testing out the uh, ballistic advantage. This is a 20 inch this is their fluted barrel premium and uh, as you saw from the uh, the video earlier she's got some things going on inside there <laughs> to be honest with you i could care less as long as it's accurate now what we did was i went ahead and put it on paper we're using some 55 grain well, it's somewhere around here and uh we're looking pretty close so what i want to do now is and i've got a probably about 30 40 rounds to it which is really not enough to bring a barrel into a good uh, what I call accurate level, where the uh, uh, the copper equilibrium equilibrium is really good. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to start off by shooting some 55 grain. This is federal uh, down there at the 100 yard. Hopefully my uh, target system, target camera is still up and running. Now we're using the primary arms. This is their six to 30. I wanted to use a really good scope on this thing to see how it was going to work out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep remembering, I don't have to holler into this microphone because it's sitting right here. So we use our sexy voice. We got a lot of wind out here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and shoot for the second row, second column on the left. Here we go.
Oops. All right, it's got a pretty decent little spread right there. Uh, not bad, but what I really want to do is I want to see how it works out with the uh, Magtech 77 grain. You guys know I'm a big fan of those. I'm gonna drop this thing down. We'll get a really good hunch in this here. Uh, I want to go just to the second column from the right, second from the left, right. Oh. Okay, wow. It's actually hitting in the uh, target section on the above it. All right, let's give the barrel a rest. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more 55 grain and through it, see if we can get something working on this thing. And then uh, what we'll do is continue moving forward with that 77 grain. The problem that we're running into today is that there's just so much wind. The gusts are crazy, they're inconsistent. Not that that should affect us really that much at 50 yards or 100 yards. Here we go, I'm gonna go third from the bottom. Right now, all I'm doing is building up some copper levels here. Matter of fact, why don't we have some fun? There's some steel over here on the left hand side. She's a little warm right now. Let's go ahead and let her cool down. We'll be right back. Ah, well, all right, guys. Barrel has cooled down significantly. Well, hell, it's completely cooled down. <laughs> and I think what we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it back down to the 100 with the 77 grain. Uh, one of the things I do want to try first, though, is I wanna go ahead and put uh, the round on target. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll adjust our zero so that off the first round impact, and then we will go one, two, three, four, five. So I've got two rounds to play with to bring it to exact zero on the 100. Now, for all you guys who are wondering, this is the uh, Caldwell Precision Turret. I'll put a link down below to the Amazon store. $49 for this thing. Literally makes zeroing a breeze. So, let's go ahead and bring it on, put it on target. And I'm gonna use the Caldwell Precision turret to get my bullet on target. So what we'll do is the uh, second column to the right, I'm gonna put my first round on the one, two, three, four down. Okay, we're gonna do one more round. Okay. All right. Same target, adjusting the impact, and this is for the record, okay? Let me move all this crap out of my way. And one thing that is cool about these barrels is they will just get better as more rounds you put through them. Wow. Damn. And that's MagTech. Huh. 
not satisfied. I'm not feeling good about that at all. So what I'm going to do, uh, I've got some hand loads that I'd like to try through here and uh, see how they perform. Uh, the 69 grain Sierra, uh, let's try those real quickly. Stand by. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think that this has got to be due to some gusty winds. I am shooting through some grass, uh, but I'm not sure that that's got anything to do with it. Cause, uh, but uh, let's do this. I don't know where the point of impact is going to be on this one. So if you look at the one three down and three across, I'm going to shoot dead center on that one. Let's do this. Hmm, not bad. Hey, for shits and giggles, uh, let's do the same thing with a different rifle. Uh, this is, see how those things perform. All right, so brought this guy out to the field with us just as a, uh, a platform to double check what we have going on. This is the Elite build. go uh, second row from the left column now let's just go uh, let's go third row fourth column from the left Okay. All right, so uh, let's just leave it at this. We will put some more rounds through this barrel. We'll see how it goes. Uh, as far as the way the barrels look, uh, perform, I've been uh, okay with it, but uh, we'll have to see how it does down the road. Anyway, that's the barrel. That is the uh, fluted barrel from Ballistic Advantage uh, Premium. With that being said, that's a long video. Guys, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom's not free. I think I'm going to go ahead and try some more of these uh, 69 grains. It's a pretty good load. That was pretty doggone close. Pretty doggone close here, you know what I'm saying? Let's uh, top row center column. Crazy.